Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to make a pinch pot clay owl inspired by the puppet X the owl in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Today you're gonna find that you have two pieces of clay, one that is rather large and one that's a little smaller. We're gonna be using this for the wings and beak and eyes and this for the body of our owl. Let's get started. When you are doing a pinch pot, boys and girls, you wanna make sure that your ball is round. So I'm gonna start by tapping it in my hand going around and then I'm going to roll it. Okay, you wanna keep your, your palms nice and stiff. If you notice your ball gets a little flat, you can always kinda of cup it and turn it so it stays nice and round. Once I get my ball round, I'm gonna take my thumb, I'm gonna push it straight down in until I start to feel it push up a little bit against my palm. I don't wanna do it too shallow, I wanna push it all the way down. Now I'm going to make a pinch pot. A pinch pot is when you use your thumb and your fingers to press alongside the ball of clay to start to thin it out. We don't want to pinch. Think about if you pinch your finger or your skin, that would hurt, but if you press it, it doesn't hurt. We want to press. So I'm putting my thumb all the way in. I'm pressing and turning, pressing and turning. I'm not going to thin out the tip, the edge of my clay. That would make it too fragile. I'm pushing my thumb all the way down in. Can you see I'm pushing it down there? Turn and press. You do not want the lip of your um, the lip of your pinch pot to get too thin. So once I have it all hollowed out, this is going to be the shape of my owl. If you see any little cracks along the way, just take your finger and smooth them over. Okay, this is the shape of X the owl. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start by making um, the feathers on the top. So I'm gonna put my fingers inside of my pinch pot very gently. I'm not gonna pinch. Again, I'm gonna just gently pull a little bit of my clay up. Okay, press and pull. And this is going to be the feathers on top of our owl's head, not their ears. These are actually feathers. Owl's ears are inside of their head on the side. Okay, now I have my ears on X. Or I'm sorry, my ear, my feathers on X. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take two pieces of clay. They're of equal sizes. Okay, about equal size. If it's not the same, you can pinch it off. And I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna make a small little ball in my hands. One. Two, and these are going to be my eyes on X. I'm gonna take it and give it a little press in my palm. Press in my palm. And there they go, oh, they're really big. If I don't want them that big, guess what? I can always pinch a little bit off and do it again. I think I want them to be a little bit smaller. I would say maybe like the size of a marble. Here we go. All right, that's pretty good. Now, when I want to attach two pieces of clay, I have to do something called score and slip. Scoring is when you take a clay tool, <clears throat> like a toothpick, and you scratch up one side with tic-tac-toe marks, and then you scratch up the other side with tic-tac-toe marks, and then you take this slimy clay, it's called slip, that is basically clay glue. I'm going to put my hand inside to support it. Give it a little press. You could also use a toothbrush and this does the same thing. You don't want too much water on it but what I'll do is I'll scrub a dub dub. That does the scoring and there's already slip on there and I'm going to press. So those that's how you score and slip. Either one works really 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 well. Okay. Now, let's do the eyes. I'm gonna take an eraser and I'm gonna press and turn. Press and turn, you can wiggle it around. Ah, I face planted. It's okay, I got him, all better. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the side of a toothpick and I'm gonna press it in the sides to make some cool texture on the edge of my owl. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, and then if I want to, for a little more detail in the eyes, I could even do a smaller circle. I'm just gonna wiggle it around. 
Oh, no. There we go. It's a little bit better. Okay. <clears throat> now let's do our beak. Again, I'm going to pinch off a small piece of clay, roll it into a little ball, and I always like to give it a little pinch at the top and kind of flatten it out and make a beak that way. It doesn't need to be big. I kind of like my beaks on my owl very small. And again, score, score, and slip. Pick it up. There we go. Do two little dots for the nostrils. Last but not least, let's add some wings. One, two, roll, roll, roll. Flatten. Roll, roll, roll. Flatten. <clears throat> and I'm going to score and slip these guys to the side. Once I get these on, I can go ahead and add a little bit of texture with the materials at my table. <clears throat> Oops, I forgot to score this side. Press, and then it's always a good idea. We score, slip, press, and then compress with your finger. You take your thumb and just pull the wing from one side to the other. Boys and girls, this clay is very, very wet. Wetter than I'm used to, so we don't want him to fall apart. Okay, at this point, <coughs> excuse me, I'm gonna take some tools, maybe a toothpick, or I'm sorry, a paper clip, and I'm gonna add a little texture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way down. All right, boys and girls, I hope you have fun making your pinch pot owls.